Ha ha. All right, just sit there and shut up and don't tell anybody you saw me here. Yeah, this is really the most exciting part of my day, believe me. Get over it. <laughs> so what's this whole secret thing anyway? Are you signaling Russian U-boats or something? Yeah, something like that. Hey, Gyps, you're a girl, right? Last time I checked. <sighs> what does it mean if a girl walks out of somewhere every time a guy arrives? Does it mean she doesn't like him at all, or does it mean that she's playing hard to get? Let me get this straight. Every time you walk into the kitchen, Daddy walks out? I'd say quit now. I know it's not what we had planned, and it'll take me a couple of years to save up the money to make a seaworthy again, but... I mean, look around. I mean, this little detour could be nature's way of telling us to enjoy ourselves in paradise, not to rush things. What do you think? Jeff, I don't know how to say this. Oh, I like you very much, and I was keen to sail around Australia with you. Living in a seaside town isn't what I had in mind at all. It's just a detour. You know I've still got my career. Taking a year off to sail, well, it's worth it, but moving and, well, retiring, it's a long way off for me. And being with me isn't enough. No, it's not. I'm very fond of you, Jeff, but I can't stay. I'm sorry. She absolutely 100% guaranteed me that you won't be sent back. You'll go somewhere safe. I have to tell them everything. Yeah. I shouldn't have stayed. I'm not going to do it. Why? Do you want your father to get away with it? You're not the one who has to... Who has to... tell them about it. You don't know anything. Ah, so where are we going? Huh? Well, I'm not going to let you walk out of here by yourself. Where are we going? He's just so sophisticated. He's not like any of the guys around here. He, he, he talks about what's important. And is he a teacher? How old is he? Uh, 30, maybe? Well, that's where the sophistication comes in. Yeah. And he's romantic without being embarrassing. Well, I'm glad you enjoyed your lunch. We've had a bit of a breakthrough here, too. Really? Mm. Dad. Oh, um... <clears throat> what's wrong? Linda and I have broken up. Seems like I've been kidding myself all along. Oh, Dad. You know, the funny thing was that I thought we had a good thing going. I know she wasn't a love of my life, but I thought she was happy. She liked the boat. She even seemed to like me. She was a lot younger than you. <laughs> yeah, well, I suppose it was too good to be true, wasn't it? What will you do now? I don't know. There's not much I can do, is there? Burn my bridges. Stuff financially. Go on, say it. I'm not going to say anything. Yeah, well, then I'll say it for you. I made a complete fool of myself, and I've lost just about everything and everyone that I ever cared about. You haven't lost me. I didn't like the situation, you know that, but I never wanted to see you hurt. And I never stopped loving you. Hello? No one's home. You are? No one who cares is home. Come on, Danny, give me a break. I guess you're in, aren't you? What are you doing? Reading. At least I was reading. Can I sit down? If you want. Look, Danny, I know that you're not crazy about me, okay? And I accept it. What I'm saying is that this is the last time I'm gonna be bothering you because after this, I give up. Okay. And I know you've still got the hots for Will. Okay, but from what I'm hearing, it's not gonna happen, Danny. So I think we should just give it a go, you know? Just go out, see what happens, just as friends. Friends. Well, yes, right. no, I'm serious. I just want to go out with you, okay? Do ordinary things. Talk, eat, walk. I don't care. Whatever. Okay? Just hang out for a while and see. It could be fun, Danny. Okay? Just, just friends. Well, yes. If that's what you want. Uh, 
well, I guess I'm bored, so you could take me to the movies this afternoon. I guess that's better than no. I'll be nice to you. I promise. Well, I hope so. Dear Alex, I wanted you to know that I think you're a great guy and that Danny's really missing out by not going out with you. By not dating you. I couldn't tell you this to your face, so I thought I'd write it instead. Oh, didn't know you were out here. Oh, I just got in. I didn't know you were there. You finished work already? Yeah, it didn't take as long as I thought. Alex and I are going to the movies so you can tell Mum when she gets back. M the movies? Yeah, I managed to twist her arm. Oh, we better get going, hmm? See, I'm making an effort. See ya. So, where are we headed? Stop following me. No way. I trusted you and you told them. Tony, wait, it's just a patrol car. Wait! Tony, you're being stupid. I don't even know where we were going. Oh, well, let me have a look. Get out! Oh, come on, mate. I thought you were tougher than that. Are okay, you going to show me you're going to act like a little girl? I'm not a girl. I'm a boy, OK? I'm a boy. I hate you. The Lloyd Grossman of modern day journalism deliberates and cogitates over the latest news, views and gossip. The right stuff next, then. I married Britain's meanest man. Has uh, no, no. Now you were at the Arsenal.